Hello, this is the chapter 5 of the thesis called Airport Mobile Internet. On this chapter, there is an individual article titled Airport Service Quality Using Fuzzy Numbers and Topsies. As an overview, one of the main objectives of this article is to calculate the Airport Service Quality Index, a kind of uh, airport ranking. The methodology used is a combination of FUSI uh, theory uh, uh, and TOPSI. And the data used is a database uh, generated by IATA with over 40,000 surveys to passengers. This uh, research was carried out in, during 2015. As a background, we can say that the service industry represent 70% of total world's GDP. Within the service industry, we have the air transport industry with a 3.4%. Air transport is a global business with a, a heavy airline competition around the world and is a key uh, feature for tourists, for instance, where more than 50% of passengers travel by uh, air. Worldwide, we have more than 3 billion passengers traveling every year and using some of the more than 4,000 airports around the world. Why airport service quality, ASQ, is very relevant for airports? Some of the reasons are that airports have been going through uh, structural changes privatization, globalization, and commercialization. On top of that, and mainly for the largest airport, uh, we can find airport competition, mainly between airport hubs, which, uh, when we look at airport service quality, this can have an influence on the number of passengers using that airport for transferring. All these reasons make airport, airport service quality very relevant. When we look at uh, airport managers and researchers, the first thing they have been uh, looked at is uh, economic performance. So are uh, variables that make the airport to run more efficiently. But to run more efficiently doesn't exactly mean that we are providing a better service quality to passengers. So a second a wave of uh, research and airport manager focus had been on airport service quality by asking uh, passengers, mainly through surveys, about the quality being uh, offered. The problem between gathering data from passengers until implementing measures to improve the quality of service can be divided into three items. First, when we have a linguistic issue in the process of passengers filling in this Likert scale uh, questionnaires, leading to imprecision and vague information. Second, airports want to compare with each other to see whether how they are versus their peers, uh, other airports. So we want to compare airport to airports. And third, airports want to improve. And in order to improve, they would like to know in which uh, attribute, which variables, which areas of the airport uh, are going to have a stronger effect in the overall quality of the airport. In order to tackle all these three problems, I define these two main objectives, being the first one, to create an airport service quality index, which takes into account the linguistic issue just described and which allow us to compare airport to airport. Second, in all the list uh, of attributes uh, evaluated for during those surveys, we want to identify those which represent a bigger impact to improve the airport uh, service quality index. To find data from many different airports on airport service quality is not an easy task, and it was not for us. So we uh, had to go back to uh, data from 
1999 is a very old data, but we believe fulfill our objectives, which was uh, carried out by IATA among 57 of the largest airports in the world from most of the regions, except um, uh, Africa and South America, where it looks at uh, 24 different uh, attributes and uh, is being done by surveying over 40,000 passengers. The passengers are surveyed in two different ways. One is uh, either on board of the aircraft by flight attendants, or second is at the uh, waiting area of the air side of the airports. The methodology used for this paper is the following. First, in order to overcome the linguistic issue, uh, we use FUSI theory, developed back in 1965 by Mr. Sadek. And each linguistic term is converted into a triangular FUSI number. Second, in order to calculate the ASQ index, we use the multi-criteria decision making TOPSIS. TOPSIS stands for Technique for Order Performance by Similarity to Ideal Solution. And it was developed back in 81 by Mr. Wang and Young. And it is based on the concept that the best performance should have the shorter distance from the positive ideal solution and the farther distance from the negative ideal solution. The last element of our methodology is elasticity. Elasticity is a major economic concept which has its origin in physics. So what we will be trying to uh, measure with this elasticity is how we change some of the attributes, what is the effect on the ASQ. And this is the overall methodology which is being used as a tool to tackle the data just described before. One of the results we achieve is the Airport Service Quality Index, which has been summarized here, just a small sample. We have extracted the best five airports and the worst five airports in terms of airport quality. And in these results, uh, we see that this methodology can be uh, confirmed because when we use the ASQ index using TOPSIS, we get the same airports that they are using the average. So we can conclude that the TOPSIS is a, a good theory to approach. But you can ask, why are you uh, using this TOPSIS if you are getting the same results? Well, this leads us to the second point here. If we look at the three first positions, first, second, and third, we see that there is a difference, basically only Helsinki as a first option is the same in both approaches. For the other two, we have different airports. And to be or not to be on the top three could have very important marketing consequences. In the example here, Changi Airport is promoting on its website that is the best airport by size over 40 million passengers. So that means that you can or you cannot, depending on what is the overall uh, top three uh, ranking. So we believe that this is an important item to take into account. The results in elasticity we have generated for each airport, but here as an example, I have taken two. One is Helsinki and the other one is Mumbai. Actually, it's the best performing and the worst performing airport. And we can see some differences. For instance, in Helsinki, we can see like a, on these three uh, attributes, on time per departure, executive lounge, and connected flights, those have a larger electricity versus some other examples. So for as a manager of Helsinki Airport, to concentrate on those particular attributes will have a stronger effect on the overall uh, airport service quality. Same happens to Mumbai, where there are, again, three variables, courtesy, checking staff, online departure, 
and checking waiting time, which has the largest uh, elasticity. In terms of elasticity, we can see also that uh, worst performing airport have a larger elasticity versus a best performing airport. So, and we can reach the conclusions, which we can summarize in three points. First, Topsy, topsy fuzzy method seems to be an appropriate method to calculate the Airbus Airport Service Quality Index. Second, Airport Service Quality Index versus average is not the same. So, we, uh, depending on which method we use, we are going to achieve different results. And also, we see that elasticity seems to be a good uh, approach to identify those attributes that have a stronger impact on the Airbus Service Quality Index. And I just want to say thank you very much for listening.